Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We used to we used to come for the 12:30 show, which was the first show, and we'd sit in the back row. We'd sit here, here. The show would go on. We'd do the show. They'd do the show. Then there'd be a movie. Then people would leave, and then we'd move up to about here. Coming in, we'd see the next show. Since they did four shows a day, we'd get okay. The next show, the second show was over. Then the movie would go on, and then we'd move up here. This would be all day. So this would be the third show, which usually is probably around six o'clock. The 12, then we're going to three, then one to six, and then the, by the time we got to the fourth show, Gregory and I would be right up here. Right up here. And we were now up close. Henry Letang, our great tap teacher, wanted us to see all the great tap dancers. And but we saw Coles and Atkins, and we saw Bunny Briggs and Teddy Hale, Baby Lawrence. We learned from these guys, and we wanted to be up close so we could see their feet. The, the quality that they all had that I wanted so badly, and I do have it, but I learned from them, was appear, a, a, appealing to the audience, being one with the audience, being honest and real with them. Nothing like the Apollo stage. And this was one of the great tap floors. And, and I'll never forget the sound. It's a, it has its own sound. And, that's, that's, and, then, and, when, and, and when you look out and the audience is there, and they're just loving you, if, you, if, you, if you're good. If you ain't good, they ain't loving you. It was the first time Gregory and I ever felt what they all talk about, the audience's love for you. Boy, it hasn't changed at all. You still can feel it. All the way to the top. All the way to the top, you can feel it. You can look up there and know people are up there and loving you and it's palatable. You know, you just feel it. And I think because Gregory and I started here, I was always looking for that love. 